broadcasting live from Hexon, Texas, home of the spoilers. We're at AK-47 Stadium where the fans are required by law to carry firearms 24-7. So put your bulletproof vests on and let's go, America! We've got a great matchup for this final weekend of the regular season. The teams are taking the field right now. The Baltimore Razors battle. The Hexon Oilers. Win the Orc Toss and can choose to kick off or receive. And now receive the kickoff. Welcome to the final game of the season. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow here calling play-by-play. -play. Now let's listen in on the pregame speech. <laughs> And we are just about ready for kickoff on this, the last game of the regular season. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan, and the mutant troll that lives on his shoulders, Bricks Jr. Hey, Bricks, next time you shave, you ought to whack that little ingrown hair off your shoulder. Eat me. Hey, speaking of whacking, though, wow, get a lot of them cheerleaders. And uh, moving on. And we are ready for the opening kickoff. Let's get this game underway. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. a gain of 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. First and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with well left. Uh, yeah, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. I bet it anything really tastes good. Second down and nine. Put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. A one-legged girl baboon could have kicked that ball farther. Yeah, that's the first time I heard you compliment your wife, Ricks. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Runs it for four yards. And this game is up for grabs.
Second down and six. And they run it for a couple of yards. Four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Well, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My long shot is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Two minutes remain in the half. Great. I gotta take a dump. Again? You just wet. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. Second down and nine. One in for the first down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unsafe. It's a glitterception. What's that, Graham? A fabulous. Oh, he just got crushed. Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. He took looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, there's the popcorn grip. Zoom in on his face, then his crunch. I want to see if he cries or kisses himself first. And that's how you run the football. And it's first and ten. showing but their team has a chance to respond gorgeous kick better ensure that leg who knows how long he'll keep it Controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. The quarterback's tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. The defense. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. It's 
First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Some people got to welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And this guy is one of the best shit kickers in the league. And he just laid into that ball big time. Yeah, like exploding diarrhea. Remember that time in Cabo? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through any defensive player trying to... And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. The defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Third down and nine. Hot. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. Oh, what a sack there! I heard this guy likes to play with so You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these reps any ideas, you idiot. Grim, take the stash. On it. It's first and ten. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. One for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck in the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. You're 
father was a very smart man, Bricks. Hot, very smart. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't almost throw interception, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 30. The 20. He's at the 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the wound. That's peeing in the ashes of the smoldering remains. Ah, oh, you are truly a master poet, Grim. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And he kicked the snot out of that ball. <laughs> Someone get him a Kleenex. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, what the brutal hit! <laughs> and that'll be second down and four. Hot, hot one, hot two. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest. I don't see a chance in hell in here. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if he can get something going here. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Freud Rage. How do you like your brain? Scrambled or fried? One Freud Rage breakfast special coming up. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The ten. That is such bullshit. This game is fucking rigged. I tell you, the programmers are just waiting up the defense. I'm going to write an email to that fucker. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! Ah, another interception. He's and he's off to the races. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In the oh, and they fake it. Didn't see that coming, did you, Bricks? And QB threads the needle for two points.
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. wants to speed things up so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, save it. Bridget's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Second down, and they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in half time. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Rip, did I kill him? And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well placed cleat. Third and two. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Rim? That would make more sense. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle deal. Man, what a hit that was. <laughs> the offense, and that'll be their final timeout. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. pay the secondary for you pay it for the oilers got spoiled today and come up with a loss they've got 99 problems but a win ain't one of them that's right grim just like a bridge all the troubled water like a whole lot of rosie the game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil Ascent in the MFL want to thank you for being part of this entertaining season. For the teams who have made it to the playoffs, good luck. And for those that didn't, well, there's always next year. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it.